if we want to empower farmers, rice farmers for example, who have been strangled by cheap imports, lack of markets, and interference of the value chain for rice growing. You don't empower them by slogans. You empower them first by ensuring that you secure the market. After you secure the markets, and that is what the government of His Excellency the President is very busy doing, then you come up the value chain and ask yourself, how do we improve on production? And this project is an example of how to improve on production. Provide water at the time it is required and provide the farmers with the infrastructure to become more productive. We do not talk of the downstream vendors. The small people, as they are called, the mamambogas, as they are called, until you can address yourself to how the mboga comes in. And this is how it does, by ensuring that uh, there is an infrastructure that improves on productivity and investing in it. The Kenyan government is investing 8 billion to ensure that there is water all the time, two seasons of rice growing per year. It is good that we start addressing ourselves to the real issues so that the downstream production is something that will make our farmers have money in the pocket and ensure that our farmers are happy.